Now, with Hurricane Florence making its way uh, towards land, uh, the president recently decided to reflect on the job he did with some of the disasters that happened last year. Let's take a look at that. I think probably the hardest one we had by far was Puerto Rico because of the island nature. And I actually think uh, it was one of the best jobs that's ever been done with respect to what this is all about. Puerto Rico got hit not with one hurricane, but with two. And the problem with Puerto Rico is their electric grid and their electric uh, generating plant was dead before the storms ever hit. It was in very bad shape. It was in bankruptcy, uh, had no money. It was largely, you know, it was largely closed. And when the storm hit, they had no electricity essentially before the storm. And when the storm hit, that took it out entirely. Uh, the job that FEMA and law enforcement and everybody did working along with the governor in Puerto Rico, I think was tremendous. I think that Puerto Rico was an incredible, unsung success. Incredible, unsung success. Puerto Rico nearly 3,000 people died as a result after the two storms. Now, it's not as a direct result of, like, during the storm, right? This is afterwards. This is after supplies uh, were not there. Hospitals didn't have power. Things like that. Th nearly 3,000 people died. That is more than Katrina. Katrina, I, I mean... When you go back there uh, to the time when Katrina happened, that was a scandal, a huge scandal. That was the, a gigantic stain on the Bush presidency, among many others. But it, it was a worse disaster. Now, Trump has had an even worse disaster, and he is saying, unsung success. I actually think it was one of the best jobs. My God, man, you know, everything's got to be the best with him. It's the greatest. I did such a fantastic job. And notice it was about him and about the job that he did. Well, I directed FEMA. I directed law enforcement. I think it's one of the best jobs that we ever did. The greatest. You know, despite, as he mentioned earlier, the challenges of it being an island. In fact, let me let me hear. Let's let's hear Trump explain why it was so difficult to get help. All appropriate departments of our government, from Homeland Security to Defense, are engaged fully in the disaster and the response and recovery effort probably has never been seen for something like this. This is an island surrounded by water, big water, ocean water. No, no, it's surrounded by cream fucking cheese. God, this man is stupid. He is such an idiot. Big water, ocean water. We've never seen anything like this before. You have a naval base there. You, you, literally, you have no problem transferring military equipment to Puerto Rico, to the military base there. But when it comes to transferring supplies... And making sure people don't die. Well, that's very difficult because it's it's an island surrounded by water. Big water. Ocean water. Idiot. Oh, idiot. Now, despite that, he says, we did awesome. In fact, when he was asked to grade himself on the job that they did, here's what he said. We got A pluses for our recent hurricane work in Texas and Florida and did an unappreciated great job in Puerto Rico, even though an inaccessible island with very poor electricity and a totally incompetent mayor of San Juan. We are ready for the big one that is coming. Notice oh, the island was was inaccessible, you know, because of the big water and everything. And it had very poor electricity. Uh, and and totally incompetent mayor. Wasn't you know anything that happened wasn't my fault. I think we did a great job. Well, you know who gave him that A plus? He did. 
N- nobody else thinks that he did a great job. No one else thinks that. And besides that, that shouldn't be the point. Why is the conversation about how good of a job he did and not, uh, you know, how we should do better? Like he's got no self-awareness. He doesn't look and say, we could have done better in Puerto Rico. I give myself an A minus. You know, because there were so many people that died and there were so many difficulties and, you know, th- there, were, there, were, there were problems and, you know, what, we could have done a better job. And here's what my administration will do to start doing a better job so that this doesn't happen. Instead, A plus, A plus, tremendous. I think it was one of the best jobs. You know, this, he doesn't have any empathy. That's why he doesn't, that's why he doesn't take, talk like that. Uh, there's what else can you say doesn't care doesn't care about other human beings especially about you know people in puerto rico i wonder why that is hmm i mean i'm sure he'll care a lot more about the people in north and south carolina which of course i do i care about all americans (laughs) uh puerto ricans guess what they're americans as well but uh you know to trump low-key racism uh, brown people. Yeah, I mean, look, you want proof of that? You go back to some of the stuff that he'd said about that, about how they're lazy in their cleanup efforts. If that doesn't show you low key racism, I don't know what does. Some of his statements on it, but look, all I can say is if you're in the path of the current hurricane, um, I, I hope either you, you know, can get away like if you can do so it's going to be disastrous for those of you who plan to stay i hope you're stocked up and i hope you're someplace safe because the administration has shown that if you need help it's not going to get to you anytime soon they're utterly incompetent so look stay safe everyone if you're in the path Seriously, stay safe, okay? And I hope for the best, man. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.